Hello. Yeah. All right. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. I'm so sorry yesterday. How oh, what happened to you last night? After I'm finished with my Spanish class mm. and I was talking to my son, then mm -hmm. the issue wasn't really um a kind of controversial. So <laughs> All right. I need, really needed to talk more, so I couldn't make it. Mm. I see. All right, but how about today? How's today? I'm okay today, but mm -hmm. I'm I came home mm -hmm. around eight p.m. Yeah. I had to um. Oh, this a little bit light. Yeah, Wednesday. around the seven. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, at six fifty is mm -hmm. my um. my finishing time finish All time right. your time but, out yeah but um middle school students mm. you know they really they don't do their homework mm -hmm. so i really just let them stay longer but i whenever i say that oh you should you i'm gonna just um you're not gonna go home then i not let you go mm -hmm. and they said oh please blah 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 but they mm -hmm. They do it again and again, and they don't do that. They mm -hmm. don't really um, keep a promise All right. that they're going to um, do their homework. So okay. really disappointing. Then today, then uh, I really let them stay longer, mm, okay. almost like 8 p.m. <laughs> and what did the parents say? Mm, I don't know. Maybe... Mm. Um, Normally, most parents mm. they like it when mm. their uh, children stay longer at academy. Then mm. they normally they like it unless mm. they have their uh, own plan or dinner out. Mm. Otherwise, but so you... uh, it's really selfish. <laughs> right. So you gave them homework to do and they never do it some only just ah. few students they listen mm. they always do do that but uh, especially um male students mm -hmm. female students they really do their mm -hmm. task but the others i mean um male students mm. they don't really listen ah. listen to me then they just wanna they say oh it doesn't matter we can just stay and then we do it after this and uh -huh. It's really uh, mm. me for me. It's mm. stressful sometimes. Mm -hmm. I feel hungry and tired, and also I have um, I got something to do. Mm -hmm. So, but if I just say that, but I, if I don't do it, if I only mm -hmm. just keep saying, mm -hmm. then they um, they don't feel like it's gonna really happen. So I mm -hmm. sometimes I really did that. I really stayed it. Let mm -hmm. made made them stay long. Stay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I remember when I was a uh, early high school because I, I never went to middle school. Um, really? <laughs> because um, that time, like many years ago, uh, our country didn't have middle school. Oh, we, we oh, go right, straight right. to. Uh, we went straight to um, high school. High school. Uh, mm -hmm. First year, uh, second year, uh, all those years, I had to do homework. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't miss it. homework. You couldn't miss it. You had to. Yes, yes. Because um, the teachers would Very know. Strict. Maybe, uh, not exactly. Maybe for other students, like, okay. But... <laughs> only was, for you. Oh, no, not only, but... Um, uh, those who are smart. Uh, not exactly, but they, they are expecting, <laughs> like... Uh, a level of um, maturity and compliance from some students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I belong to like many um, clubs in high school. So that could so only high happen. Expectation. The yes. teacher has had a high expectation those you, mm. you, I mean, the group that yes. uh, you are belong to. Yes, that is right. Mm, I understand. So every time, like, uh, 
So there, there was one that uh, when there was one time when I did not uh, do homework, everybody <laughs> knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> because usually <laughs> teachers would um, check the students like, okay. And then, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they immediately know. And then they call out your name. <laughs> so everybody knows, ah, oh, you didn't have to be somewhere. <laughs> 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 so every, every time I was given over, I had to do it. I don't want to be called out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> yes, that is right. And other students would look up to you. So mm -hmm. it's um, difficult not to show them that you yourself is not doing homework when you should be the one doing homework. So they also do it. Wow, right, right. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and mm -hmm. I and also I have a similar uh, similar experience that mm -hmm. my Korean name, mm -hmm. which means genius. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when um middle school, high school, when teacher asks some kind of um difficult question to mm -hmm. us, when nobody can answer, could answer, then mm -hmm. always the last. The mm. one that uh, the teacher, mm -hmm. I was asked uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> last because my of my name. Oh. They have really big, uh, high expectation. Right, right, right. I'm kind of a smart, but mm -hmm. not really top. Mm -hmm. But um, teachers usually, uh, whenever nobody can answer them, okay, <laughs> you, you are you, your name is genius, right? And you. <laughs> Then what? Oh, <laughs> my mind like what? <laughs> <laughs> then oh, it's so embarrassing and uh, my uh, heartbeat. I mean, the, mm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I was so nervous whenever that situation uh -huh. uh, happened. Then <laughs> I remember because of my name, uh, mm -hmm. I really I mm -hmm. took a big responsibility. Mm, right, I, right, right. Like a really big responsibility. Mm, right, right. <laughs> my, my teachers before would ask me like, if nobody could, couldn't answer, before they um, ask me and some other students, they say, how about you? I think you know. <laughs> when they say like, I think you're like, uh, uh, what? <laughs> what <do you> <laughs> I also don't know the answer. <laughs> but you cannot say that you don't know the answer. So you, you got to look at the book and then <laughs> do it really yeah. fast and find the answer. It was really embarrassing, yes. And then <laughs> kind of a stressful. Right, then. right. Yeah, so. Mm. <laughs> well, that was high school. It was fun. <laughs> okay. And today we're going to do um, the last one here. It's question 11. Uh, this is a question. Mm -hmm. More and more companies use webcam services to hold virtual meetings. What are the what are the disadvantages of this? So the bad effects of holding virtual meetings. Now let's go ahead and check the answer, please. Mm, there are certain pitfalls to virtual meetings as more firms and organizations use them. For starters, technical concerns such as bad internet connection or poor audio and video quality can disrupt meetings, wasting participants' time and decrease, decreasing their productivity since they focus so much on maintaining their connection and equipment. Also users must sit directly in front of the webcam when engaging in internet conference calls. This causes people to have limited body language, which can lead to misunderstandings, particularly when addressing difficult matters because of this, while webcam services are growing more popular for virtual meeting, this technology may be counterproductive. All right. So virtual meetings. Um, in your case, like you do virtual meetings for your classes, right? Nowadays, mm -hmm. I, um, my class, my own class, like a yes, Spanish yes. class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, right. 
And sometimes do you experience some disruptions? Um, not so many times, but mm -hmm. uh, sometimes only sometimes when mm -hmm. the internet connection is not wasn't is not uh, stable. Right, right. Then technical issue. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, I had a difficulty um mm -hmm. adjusting that time. I'm not mm -hmm. really good at um um. I'm not um, good at um, computer matter, so, mm -hmm. so sometimes if we have a technical issue, then right. I can't make it mm -hmm. by myself. That's the problem. But not it doesn't really happen often. So how did you adjust? Like uh, I think like before pandemic, uh, most people would just uh, have like audio calls. That's very easy. Just use the phone. But because of the mm -hmm. pandemic, many people have to like transition to using webcam services. Was it was mm -hmm. the transition difficult? Mm, yeah, but mm -hmm. I was lucky that um, my master's degree actually it's not uh, it's uh, online um, university only online master's degree course. So uh, before pandemic, I already I'm used to using this. Um, zoom meeting or mm. all online courses online i'm used to or i'm familiar with this your online class so when ha pandemic ha covid happened and mm. some academy they really shut down or closed because right. they they really couldn't accept that transition <laughs> offline to online so yes. they just rather gave give up Mm -hmm. but uh i was lucky i'm already i, I was i am familiar with this and mm -hmm. then i uh, not really it um uh, it wasn't really hard time for me uh to um accept that situation mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i was lucky i i, mm -hmm. I think right, right but the others mm, many um owner of academy, they just decide to stop the, doing their job because of that COVID. They, mm -hmm. they, they don't wanna uh, accept the situation. Mm -hmm. They don't wanna learn or they don't wanna try mm -hmm. something new. Mm -hmm. But maybe now they reopened their academies. Um, some of them, they mm -hmm. just uh, really quit and then they already opened a uh, really quite different um, business already but the others they try to do it but everything really um every uh compared to before pandemic nowadays mm -hmm. everything price it goes up prices mm -hmm. are really price expensive mm -hmm. to open academy so right. Right. Also another problem mm, they yes. have another problem yes, yes. right yeah. especially so, that the pandemic was just over yeah, so they, they still need to recover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some words over here. Uh, pitfalls. Uh, so what is it? Pitfalls? Uh, disadvantage. Uh -huh. yes. Disadvantage. Uh, yes, usually we... Mm -hmm. Synonym? Yes, correct. Uh, usually we say that something is a pitfall if like we know that it has some advantages but there are also some disadvantages. And so we often say a pitfall. Mm. Like that. Uh, and so then, it means mm. it, it has two meaning? I mean, the advantage and disadvantage together? Uh, no, no. Um, we often use it because we know that something has advantages, but it also has disadvantages. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, for example, um, if I say that virtual meetings have pitfalls, I know that it has advantages, but there are disadvantages. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like that. Mm -hmm. I understand. And then virtual meetings. Mm -hmm. um, many people would also say like webcam meeting or online meeting, uh, just the same. Mm -hmm. And then disrupt. Uh, this one is a good word to use when talking about um, internet um, connections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because disrupt is like um, stop. 
Of course, um, for example, if it's a physical meeting, like the real meeting in an office, noise can disrupt the meeting, can stop the meeting. But um, the point is that uh, this is very useful when there's some sort of connection. So very nice to use when talking about um, internet. Uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. Disrupt. Disrupt meaning um, disconnected. Yes, like um, you stop the good flow, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, ah, okay, there was um, one time, um, I, I think the parent um, sent a message to um, one of our cow groups, and then the parent said there was a kid in the background. <laughs> there was a kid in the background of the teacher. So it caused some uh, disruption um, in the students' um, concentration <laughs> because there was, oh, well, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> so that mm. word similar to disruption? I mean, dis dis distraction. Yeah, distraction. Like, yeah, so disrupt, uh, distract, uh, distract, um, um, stop. Uh, they are um, synonyms. Mm hmm and then productivity. Uh, I want to focus on the word productivity. Uh, nowadays, many people have to do many things at the same time. So in your case, like how do you keep your productivity so you can maintain it? Mm, my, you mean my income or? I mean your productivity as a person who does work. How do you make sure that you are still working very well and not um, slacking? Mm, I um, I have um. There is a group that uh, I can join. Um, the all the members are the all they are all owners of English Academy, so I join that meeting. Um often and then we have a uh, we have um whenever we have an issue then we talk about it and then i i uh, realize that uh, i really need to do something or i feel like i'm doing well then i can just uh, um kind of self it's kind of a self adjustment no <laughs> i mean <laughs> Um, because since I work alone, there's mm -hmm. um, nothing that I can compare or I can, um, nothing that I can compare or I don't know exactly I'm doing well or not, but yes. when, whenever I join the meeting and then after the meeting then I really realize that I, I'm doing well or some, I'm, I miss some parts mm -hmm. and I, I try to make up on it then mm. is the right the right answer with oh, that right, right. so yeah so it means that by joining that one you know that you are producing um good results maybe in one part of your business and you mm -hmm. know that you need to do more on other parts because you maybe in, right. in those parts like the results are not so good like that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i yes. easily compare Mm -hmm. Then I can balance mm -hmm. uh, my work. Right, right. And, and also on oh, mm -hmm. seminar, yes. Oh, Whenever yes, I yes. join seminar, then mm -hmm. I realize that oh, I need to do more, or I need to um add more, or abstract, abstract, construct. Um, what's the um? It's not synonym. The opposite word of a synonym? Antonym. Huh? Antonym. Antonym? Mm. Antonym? Yeah, antonym. That's the opposite of synonym. Antonym. Uh, antonym. Mm -hmm. So, um, adding or abstracting? Ex I forgot the word of uh, opposite word of adding. Add. A-D-D. Adding. Uh, subtract. Uh, subtract. Subtract. Subtract, yes, mm. subtract, yes. Yes, yes, oh, right, right. And uh, let's look at the last word here. It's counterproductive. It means um, we are doing something and instead of 
producing good results, it produces the opposite. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, um, mm -hmm. many people think that if they work for a very long time, it will produce good results. But actually, it's counterproductive. It produces not so good results. So counterproductive mm -hmm. means um, it's not productive. Yes, correct. So you are doing something which you think will give you good results, but actually, but actually it's, not. it's the opposite. Uh, I start with it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So this one says this technology mm. may be counterproductive. Like that, maybe. But, mm -hmm, but, maybe not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And then here, um, internet conference calls or internet calls. A conference calls that would also mm -hmm. uh, do oh misunderstandings. Um, mm -hmm. when you when you transitioned into like um teaching online during the uh, pandemic, um, was there some difficulty because some students couldn't um fully understand something when you tried to explain it because it's online <laughs> and then how, how do I do this? Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. at the beginning we had mm -hmm. some problem um taking that on online class because students they don't know they are not familiar with this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and was even parents couldn't help the students what to do <laughs> because they have no idea either right. so at the beginning we had a problem accepting that this mm -hmm. taking this um properly but uh, right. later on we got <laughs> used to seeing it and then no problem yeah. even at school Mm -hmm. uh, they um, because of COVID, they closed. Then yes. they just go to once or, or twice a week. Mm -hmm. In in reality, so the other days the classes are still going on through online. Mm -hmm. So they had to adjust, really accept that one, and they right. they got used to doing it later. Yes. So. Yeah, especially um, elementary, middle school, and high school teachers. I think like maybe before the pandemic, like 99% of them were used to using the whiteboard. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, this is my whiteboard, children, look at me, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you. And then said like online, like, oh, uh, my whiteboard is in front of me now. <laughs> and not adjustment. only just the technical issue, but right. also um, because of online, we don't really exactly. We don't know who they, who they, who are, who, who they. I mean, who are they? Mm -hmm. Because I, we can see only on through this camera, right. but we don't know the other side. Oh, so right. We don't mm -hmm. know exactly the parents mm -hmm. there just next to him, next to the student. Right. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I feel like it's not really on on class or mm -hmm. so. That's also embarrassing. I mm. remember that's my feeling. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I could hear parents uh, blah, 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 so mm -hmm. talking and then even they didn't don't say anything, but I feel I felt something like uh, there's a, really there's the, their, their eyes they were eyes watching you. Watching it, yes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so but, but, I don't I didn't feel really comfortable. <laughs> Well, your feelings were right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, most parents um, at the beginning of online classes, they usually um, watch their children right, do, right. do classes they with their... Yeah, they right. want to really uh, check. Yes, yes. They, they really want to see what they do, what their children are doing, mm -hmm. maybe at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's <laughs> right. But, the later, but, maybe... Mm -hmm. Uh, usually, like later, like maybe after at uh, two, three meetings, sometimes just one meeting, uh, it's okay with them. But in my mm -hmm. case, like I, I, if the kid is very young, I prefer the parent to be there. Really? Yes. If the kid is maybe like very young, especially if like five, six, seven, like that, even nine. Oh. Yeah, sometimes but they don't have mm -hmm. any um, attention span. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have really short attention. Yes. So it's really hard to uh, let them just uh, stay there like uh, right. such a long time. Right, right. Uh, and that's, even Korean, mm. 
It's yes. not Korean. Correct, correct. That's when the parents come in. That's when they are used. Because um, maybe like um, when we are in the same room, it would be okay. Yeah, let the parents um, go to the beach and play. <laughs> That's okay because the kid <laughs> is yeah, in the same classroom as mine. But online, like it would be better if they are with the kid so they can help the student focus. Mm -hmm. Especially that I can't speak um, Hangul. So... <laughs> When I don't see them in the camera, like I just call them their name. Uh, when they're used to it, like um, they um, come back to the um, in, in the video within the frame. But if they're not used to it, like, oh, where are you? Come back. <laughs> <laughs> it, if that's the case, like, oh, it would be better if the parent was uh, in the class. <laughs> that's funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it will also help the parent understand uh, what their kids need. Right. Mm. Yeah, because some parents like they they do not fully understand what's happening with the kids learning. Yeah. So but do they, they understand? Mm. Do they understand English? Then they can help mm. you, or they can ah. help um the class. Um. Usually, parents like uh they are used. <laughs> they are used. <laughs> they are used in the uh, class to control the kid. Uh, just to control the kid. Uh, that's their uh, mm -hmm. most important role. But for the um, <laughs> for the teaching, like okay, uh, just leave me, just leave that um to the teacher. Uh, the most important thing is like you help the teacher control the kid, so um mm -hmm. the kid won't um run away or won't run away or <laughs> won't escape. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Because some kids, like, even at the beginning of the class, they would show a toy, like, teacher, teacher. They want to play right away with their toy. <laughs> so you got to entertain them a little bit. Mm -hmm. If the parent wasn't there, maybe mm -hmm. I would spend around three, four minutes telling the student that it's time for lesson. But if the parent was there, like, one minute, lesson time. <laughs> so the parents really uh, let their students pay attention to the class. Yes, yes. They help the kids pay attention. Mm -hmm. um, I also admire some parents like when they know that the student is learning mm -hmm. and the student can understand some English, that is the mm -hmm. time when they leave the student in front of the camera. So the parent knows like, oh, uh, my kid is uh, learning. So uh, I think um, I should hide. <laughs> so, uh <-huh. laughs> uh, and that is good. So the kid wouldn't be so dependent to the parent right. for focusing and for learning. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also kids like they run. They run during the class. I mean, like really? run around, not run away, but run around. Uh -huh. <laughs> have, you, have you ever experienced that? Uh, through <laughs> online class or? Online class. Uh, um, I don't think so. My mm -hmm. students, they are over 10 years, so they um they can manage themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the class is going on, then they know what to do mm. so mm. no problem oh. but if they are really young less than 10 years maybe mm -hmm. uh, yeah i guess they will really shorten uh, uh, um sure or uh, 10 attention yes. mm. so mm. they mm. might be leaving or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was when we had a account before i think that was in 2020 there was this um, very little kid. She was a girl. Uh, she had a brother with us uh, during the camp. But of course, during classes, they had to be separated. Mm -hmm. And uh, because she was very young, she still had some anxiety staying away from his brother and from his mom, especially oh. that it's a foreign place. 
<laughs> uh, she was my student and she cried many times. Oh. <laughs> she was like, oh, ma. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, every time I see her um, tearing up, I entertain her. <laughs> Oh, like oh look at teacher! This is a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> Just to distract the student from crying, but maybe like mm-hmm. in the first week, in our fifteen-minute class, she cried like three, four times. Oh, <laughs> oh. I I could easily imagine. Yes, when I was working at <laughs> SSC, I saw mm-hmm. many um little. Not little kids, but the uh, elementary school mm. students um, cry a lot. Mm. I remember at the <laughs> within one month or mm. later on, mm. even they at, after three months, then they said they they don't want to go home, go back to <laughs> Korea. Then they cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some students like are like that. Too. They became really different. Then oh, I don't want to go back to Korea. I don't want to go back to Korea. No. Let me stay here and then, oh. <laughs> All right, so students are also awesome. like that. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that's it for today. Um, um, I'll try to, um, I'm still looking for a book that uh, we can um, use. I hope I'll be able to uh, find one uh, within the week. It's just that. Oh, it's, I yeah. think it, this way is also okay. Then mm-hmm. um, we can talk more. Mm-hmm. Like, because I'm not going to mm-hmm. really take a real test to speaking. Mm-hmm. So I don't really need to be ready for this. So mm-hmm. whenever we talk about this and then we, 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 uh, I mean, we check this, but mm-hmm. the, the question, and mm-hmm. then we, um, just like today, we talk mm-hmm. more and more Then I think you don't need to find something new. Okay. Then. We can yep. still use mm-hmm. one, but we are more focused on speaking. Mm-hmm. All right, then then let's just uh, do that. We don't then. need to. Mm-hmm. We don't need to really um study about the uh, strategy of mm-hmm. how 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 I get the more score on mm-hmm. this test. I don't need to do it. Okay. But I need mm-hmm. to just talk. <laughs> okay then. All right. So that's it then. You can take a rest. Good night. Good night. Mm-hmm. <laughs>